Hey guys and gals, it's me George, the Shade Tree Fix-It Man. And look what I got, another mail call. And I don't know what's going on, but both of these are from the Heavy Chevy family. The one on top here says fragile. So I'm going to open it first and see what's in here. I know they said they were going to send me some things, more things for the Goofy card. I, I don't know, I think we're going to change this from the, from the Shade Tree Fix-It Man channel to the uh, Heavy Chevy Annex. And there's two of them. Look at that. Those are vintage sealed beam headlight. Wow, how cool is that? Improved driving standard of quality. This is number two for lower beam. Well, that's good. That's all I need. I only need one. And you know what these are for? These are to put in those headlight buckets that they sent me. Let's see if they'll fit. There's the headlight bucket. There's the headlamp. Yes sir, Bob, they are the right size. I just have to figure out some uh, flanges to put on here. How cool is that? Man, those are going to be tip top super duper on the front of the uh, goofy cart. I keep wanting to say the gadget bike. I've been saying it for two years and it's hard to get over saying that. So this is great. Thank you very, very much. How cool is that? Better put it back in the box. We'll put those back in the box. Keep them wrapped in bubble wrap until we're ready to put the headlights on. I'll put them right down here in the tea bucket. Now let's see what's in this box. This one is definitely a heavier one. Well wrapped with tape. So they're going to come apart. And we have a note. My guess is that this was written by Mrs. Heavy Chevy. George, again, I hope this box arrives intact and is a pleasant surprise. I think that every video the, miss, the mister watches, he thinks of something else to send. Yep, obviously it's Mrs. Heavy Chevy. Enjoy the goodies and clothes. Look forward to seeing how you'll use the items. Again, thank you for watching our videos. We sure do enjoy watching yours. God bless the Heavy Chevys. And I, I agree, God bless the Heavy Chevys. Here. Oh, look at that. It was 
that That's it. An oil bath air filter. Ho, 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 ho. Yeah. That would be cool on the get, on the goofy, see I almost did it again on the goofy cart. And here's the top of it. Yes sir, look at that. That would be cool. Let me bring it over there closer for you to see. Look at that, huh? Complete with the insides. And it would be very easy to put a air, uh, paper filter in there if I wanted to. Yeah. And it's got a small enough inlet on it on the bottom. You know what? I almost think... I almost think this might work on one of my... Uh, yeah, most might work on, on one of my Wisconsin engines. Yeah. I'll have to check into that. That is cool. No matter where it goes. Now, let's see. Whoa. I think he thought I might need some more big drill bits. Thank you. Four of them. And look at this. This is cool. We've seen, we've seen Mrs. Heavy Chevy making these. That is very cool. That's not going out in my garden. I have a, a wall that I'm just redoing in my house. And it's made out of uh, cedar. And the boards are put up in a kind of a herringbone pattern or actually a chevron pattern. And this would look cool, just laying right up, hanging on that thing. I'll have to take a picture after I got it mounted. Thank you very much, Mrs. Heavy Chevy. Very, very cool. And what else we got down in here? All kinds of gigas and hoo-hahs and whoa look at this how's that going to be for a cool hood ornament oh yeah I'm not sure what these are but I can think of uses for them This would look cool. Put the insert in it and make it into a gas cap. You know, like they use on race cars. But that's not the best. Oh, look at this. He sent me... This is amazing that this made it through in one piece. This is the... Uh, oh, this is an, another little chrome piece here. I, I'd, better bring, I'd better bring you over here so you can see this stuff. Now you can see it all. Look at that. You know what these things here are? Spring shackles. Yes, sir. And these are, wow, these are vintage ones. These are real old spring shackles with grease fittings on them. See that? Those are like off of a Model A. And more shim pieces. And more bushings for shackles. And shock absorber bolts. Clevis ends. Look at that little dude. Oh, this is another drill bit down in here. And some empty 
shells. And whoa, look at that. This is Model A all the way. This is a spring perch bolt. Uh, and actually the spring perch itself has been ground off of it. It was cut off here. These, this piece here is the link for the uh, old Houdeli style uh, lever shocks. And I think this uh, loop here, if I remember correctly, is for part of the brake rod setup. How cool is that? There's another drill bit in there. And these are the clamps for clamping down the spring. You use U-bolts uh, or either that or separate bolts on either side to clamp across your spring. And it's got a handful of these shackles. Yes, sir. And here's the mate to that. Oh, all kinds of goodies in here. I'm not sure what that was supposed to be for, but how cool is that? Nice curve. Very nice. I'm loving it. Great stuff. Thank you so much, Heavy Chevys. You guys are the most. And uh, obviously I won't ha have enough, uh, I won't need all of these spring shackles, but there's more than enough to finish this project and who knows what the next project is going to bring. So there you have it. Thanks so much, folks. I appreciate it. It'll help to keep me going. Thank you all for watching, and uh, I'll have an update on the Goofy Cart a little bit later on. Thanks again. Bye now.